Hello everyone. Yesterday the Division 2 did an agent briefing, sort of live stream, but it was a recorded video that they played, which gave us a recap on everything that we kind of know so far and for the future of the Division 2. It was really good. We live streamed it. They went over everything, including this specialization revamp that is on screen now. They talked about year five. They talked about um, season 10, which is coming out now on the 13th of September. And it was really, really good. We watched it. We kind of like did a live reaction to the stream. I then posted a recap video at the end. But one thing that they did mention on yesterday's agent briefing was a known issues board, which is coming on screen now. You have a brief look at it now. And in this video today, this is now live. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to have a look. I'm going to go through all this information board and see exactly what it is. I think it's a very, very good service. It's a good utility. And um, yesterday after the agent briefing, it wasn't actually live. So we couldn't really have a look at it or anything. We did the recap video, but we can now. So that's what this video is today. If you do enjoy it, please do hit like and share to support the video. Subscribe if you're new here. Come and check our community at the end of today's video, which is the best division community on Discord. Link at the top of the video description. But right now we're going to have a look at this. And if you want to look at this also for yourself, you just need to go and check out the description where there'll be a link for you to go and click. And here it is. It's done through a website called Trello. And it, it looks like this, just as they shown it in yesterday's agent briefing. And uh, I just want to go over it as we've now got access to it ourselves. You can come and check this out for yourself and use it as intended by just following this link up here. As I said, it's linked down below in the video description. If you want to come and check this out yourself. Uh, but it's very simple. You've got a list of reported bugs, investigating bugs in progress. Fix ready and fix live. And if we have a look over the reported, we can see that there's a Delta 03 error increase after TU 15.2 by 2%. And the priority is critical. You can click on that to give you a bit more of a description. So the description here is performing normal gameplay can cause the player to receive randomly Delta 03 errors when playing on PC. The recent investigation has concluded the PC crashes have dropped more than 60% after the 15.4 patch, which means they have done a pretty decent fix on that. But more fixes are to come in TU16. The labels on here, it says there's more info that is needed and it is planned for TU16. And you can see some activity as well. You can cross that off. We can go over the, to the current investigating issues. There's a gear expertise, hidden gloves upgraded by the expertise system removed from the game causing material loss. This class has a low priority. Uh, there's remove expertise and shade levels in non-invaded dark zones. Shrapnel trap skill is too powerful. Targeted loot not dropping in dark zone. Again, we can click on these to view more information if we want. Uh, with the shrapnel trap, we are investigating. So we are investigating possible solutions to the issue. But if none are found, we'll consider deactivating the shrapnel trap skill in PvP, but keeping it available in PvE. Plan for TU17 or later. So. It's the first I've heard of that they're actually thinking about deactivating the skill in PvP if they can't fix that. Uh, so you can come and look at all these yourselves. We're not going to go through every single one. Currently in progress, uh, we've got a PvP one. The damage is not increased while shooting the top part of the hive skill after the raid skill is de detected as the danger zone by Achilles Pulse. We've got a countdown bug, another countdown bug. Well, this isn't a bug. This is an issue. Players can be kicked out by group leader before extracting, but also the one above. Players are joining countdown simply to kill the first wave of hunters and then quit in the mode. That's something I've heard a lot of people complain about. And they said, starting from TU16, the loot quantity and quality drops from the second wave of hunters will be increased to motivate players to finish the session. So that's why they're doing that with the new countdown changes. And then you can see that there's fixes ready as well. So there's a PC fix here for desktop crashes to PC increased after 15.2, which is critical. If we click on that, it says the most predominant cause behind the PC stability issues has been identified and is now being tested and it's planned for 15.4. There's a fix ready there. Uh, there's gear, blueprint fixes, expertise fixes, and then there's a fix live as well. Um, there's nothing under that at the minute. Also, if we head over to the left side of the page under Information Center, we've got all these different tabs here. Starting at the top, it's got the Division 2 Season 9 Hidden Alliance with just information about the, the current season. And you can see the description 
or what the man on countdown all the information about the latest season i'm guessing that will get updated with each season and you've got how to report bugs and issues under here it gives you some troubleshooting steps but also if you don't if you do want to report a bug or issue yourself you've got the help portal link there which you can go to view if anyone else has already kind of like complained about the bug that you found and if it hasn't you can screenshot a video of the bug or sorry you can screenshot or post a video of the bug and they'll look into it for you so that's how you can now report bugs and issues through this system but furthermore there's a link to chat with us they give you the twitter instagram discussions web reddit and discord and you've got patch notes archive they haven't got all the patch notes here but they have started archiving them from title update 14 onwards we've got 14 and 15 that you can just click on to go and read read back if you wanted to and then further down there there's a game plan. I've never seen this before, but there's a game plan website. If you click on this, it says to put you ahead of the game. There's loads of different videos posted by loads of different YouTubers, which is quite cool. The only thing scrolling through that I noticed is that there was no videos um, from GC Rock from myself. You see a lot of nothing but skills videos and all sorts of videos from different content creators there. So maybe worth having... A scan through that if you want to and then also after that you've got the server status so this is a new site that i've not seen before if you want to check the server status of the game if you're having issues or whatnot you see that there are no current issues or updates to report but if there's anything wrong with the game uh, or the server that will be posted there and there uh, finally the last tab there is issues explanation so it just explains about how all these issues work how and you know with the reported ones it's issues have been reported by players and recorded internally the team is aware of them the investigating means the team is looking into the reported issue and investigating or gathering information in progress means the team has the information they need to fix the issue and a fix ready obviously means that the fix has been completed and tested and is ready to be implemented in a future update patch for the game and um, fix live the fix live has been implemented into the live game for an update or patch please make sure to update your client first to see if the issue has been resolved so that's what the fix live is if it's just for an update or patch in game i think this is really cool when they spoke about this in the agent briefing yesterday it looked really cool i liked what they did with this and um it's just great to see them getting more engaged with the fan base and giving us more options uh to discuss issues and concerns with the game but also to see how they're working on it and what is being fixed i think it is absolutely brilliant i just want to do a quick video today to showcase this and obviously Make sure you guys all got this link so you can get involved in this and have this saved to your bookmarks on your browser yourselves. So make sure now you go down to the video description, you copy this link and paste it in your browser and save it. I think it's really, really cool. But that, that's it for today's video as well to go over that because yesterday when I did my recap video, we didn't have a link or anything to show you. We only had the clips that they showed in the agent briefing. So it's better that we just got the live system now and have a look at that. Let me know what you think about this in the video comments. But I am going to end it there. Uh, thank you again for watching this video today please remember to hit like and share to support it subscribe if you're new here and now we are done come and check our communities linked at the top of the video description we'll see you in there thanks for watching stay safe and peace out mm -hmm.